Microsoft Azure offers different options to run web applications. With web apps, we can host our applications on a free plan during development and for production, we can move them to a better performing machine. In this video, you will learn what Azure Web App is and how to deploy your first application. Hi, I'm a software engineer with more than 10 years of experience with the .NET platform. If you want to improve as a software developer and learn about .NET development, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. Azure Web App is a simple service that hosts a web application in the cloud. There are two core concepts that we need to know to understand how this service works. An app service plan is like a virtual machine. It can either run on Windows or Linux. There is a free plan which can hold up to 10 web apps. If we need more performance or additional features including custom domains, we can choose a paid tier and deploy unlimited web apps to an app service plan. A web app contains the source code or binaries of your web application and runs on an app service plan. While an app service plan can run multiple applications, a web app runs on a single app service plan. I try to think of an app service plan as a virtual machine or a physical server in the cloud and a web app as a docker container that runs on this server. Note that the pricing and the service location, Azure region are tied to the app service plan and not individual web apps. One important thing to note is that Azure Web App supports not only .NET applications, but also Node, Python, PHP, Ruby and Java applications. Learning about Azure Web Apps allows you to run apps using different technologies side by side, consuming the same resources. Now let's head over to Visual Studio and create the first web application that we will host as a web app on Microsoft Azure. First, let's create an ASP.NET Core web application using the project creation dialog. On the next screen, we choose the ASP.NET Core web API template using .NET 5. Click on the create button and wait for Visual Studio to create the new project. We don't change anything within the web app and start it locally to see it in action. We navigate to the weather forecast address to receive JSON data. Now let's move this application to the cloud using Azure Web Apps. Visual Studio integrates with Microsoft Azure and allows us to publish the web app using the Web Publish feature. In the context menu of our application, we click on Publish. Within the dialog, we see different targets. We choose Azure and click Next. On the next screen, we can choose how we want to deploy our application. The first two options allow us to either use a web app running on Windows or Linux. The other options allow us to use different Azure services that we will not cover in this video. We select the Azure App Service on Windows and click Next again. If you are already signed into your Azure account, you should see your existing App Service instances. As you watch this video, I assume you don't have any resources yet, but I hope you already registered your Azure account. Log into your account and follow me creating a new Azure Web App. We click on the green plus above the App Service Instances panel. Next, we give our application a name and choose the subscription. Usually, you have a single subscription. If you are part of a larger organization, it could be that you have different plans available. Make sure to choose the right subscription. In my case, I have a single personal subscription covered by my credit card. Next. We need to set a resource group. A resource group allows us to logically group different Azure services. Let's assume we deploy not only a web app, but also a database instance. Resource groups allow us to group these two resources so that we can find and manage them together. For example, we create a new resource group called Web App Test. Remember that the name of a resource group has to be unique within your Azure subscription. Next we need to select a hosting plan. A hosting plan is the same as the app service plan we talked about before. I already have a free app service plan on Windows, but if you don't, you can click on new and within the dialog you can choose your location and the size of your hosting plan. Make sure to use the free plan if you don't want to use the app in production. Also, don't call your plan default one as I did. Instead, choose a meaningful name like Windows Free. 
Now we're finally ready to press the create button, which will create our web app on Azure. We click next again. We don't use API management this time. To skip this step, we need to check the checkbox on the bottom of the screen and press the finish button. This process did not publish our application yet. What we did is set up a publish profile. We see the profile on our screen right now. We see the site URL, the selected resource group and much more. On this screen, we could change the target framework or the deployment mode. For now, let's stick with the default selection. We press the publish button to deploy our application to Azure. It takes a while to publish our application. Once completed, a browser tab opens at the address of our application. We don't have an index page, but we will see our JSON data again if we navigate to the weather forecast URI. Congratulations, you deployed your first web application to Azure Web Apps using Visual Studio Web Publish. Now let's jump into Azure Portal to take a closer look at the web app we just created. In the toolbar, you can start, stop, restart and delete your web app. We also see the location where our application is running and on what app service plan the web app is deployed. We could also create the web app in the Azure portal and deploy our application to it from the Visual Studio Web Publish dialog. I prefer creating new resources directly in Visual Studio and only access the Azure portal when I need to change something. But this is all personal preference. While we are in the Azure portal, let's take a look at other deployment options. In the deployment section of the menu, we click on the deployment center. Here, we can see many different deployment options that allow us to either automatically or manually deploy a new version of our application to the web app. We can directly deploy from Azure DevOps services, GitHub, Bitbucket, and even a local Git repository. We have OneDrive, Dropbox, an external source code system, and FTP on the manual side. In this video, we learned about Azure Web App, App Service Plan, how to deploy your first application, and what deployment options are available. Congratulations, you are now ready to deploy your apps to Azure. Let me know in the comments below what you want to learn next. We might go over the differences between Windows and Linux app service plans, we can compare the different tiers, we might also deploy a web app using FTP or Azure DevOps instead of using Web Publish from within Visual Studio. If you made it that far, thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next.